create our form, we're going to go inside the div and we're going to use this um, helper tag called HTML.beginForm. And then in here, we're going to add each one of our um, elements in here. So, um, author name and we're going to use this other um, HTML helper tag. So we're going to say HTML text box for and then we're going to declare model model dot um, author name and then we're going to do the same thing for the next one we're going to say title and at html dot text box for m goes to model dot it's uh, capital letter model dot title This is actually text box for. And wow. So many little errors. Alright, let's try to do the next one correctly. P. Okay. What do we have? We have title publisher. So publisher at HTML dot text box for publisher and then the last one will be the date publish date And then text box for publish date. And now at the bottom here, we have to add a input of type submit. And then the name would be add book no value here. So so let's go ahead and take a look uh, on what it looks like at this point. If we click add new book then we have our form. When we click submit query it did nothing at this point it uh, simply cleans the form so if we type something here at this point and click submit query it's going to simply uh, clear the form out what we really need to do at this point is go back to our home controller and we have to do something here when you submit a form what the what the MVC convention does is actually actually we can put a void here no view result action result and we're going to add the same method again and the difference here is that we're going to annotate this with HTTP post and this will be HTTP get that means that when we initially return and we're going to return some view right? So when we initially hit the add book link in here, it's going to look for this action call add book and it will hit this add book instead of this one because this one has the HTTP get attribute. The HTTP post attribute will be hit by this button, the submit button, because um, 
when you um, use a form like this it does a post back to the home controller and there's another thing here we're gonna bring the model here so it will be uh, books collection dot models we're gonna bring that into here and then we're gonna pass that books collection we're gonna pass that book to this model so then we can actually work with it so as of right now I am not going to persist that book to a native to a database but simply to memory so to do that I'm gonna create a books collection variable here and this is actually going to be a list of books and I am going to persist that information to the session I'm just gonna call it the session books books collection and what I'm going to do here is that if books collection is not equal to null then I want the current books so books collection dot add and then I'm gonna say book I'm gonna cast the session I'm going to cast that session inside my books collection and then I'm going to add an additional one so book collection dot add the uh, let's call this new book so it's a little easier new book so I'm going to add the new book to the collection and then I'm going to update the session books collection is going to equal the current collection of books so hopefully that's not too confusing and then instead of returning a view I'm going to redirect so return redirect redirect to action and the action that I'm going to redirect to is the index action okay so so imagine this um, the user is going to fill this form and it's going to press the submit button the um, HTML that gets submitted back to the server is going to have a key pair list of books properties and values and there's something called the model binding inside the MVC4 They're actually gonna gonna do a lot of work for you and is going to get that book from the um, stream of data coming from the client back to the server and is going to create a new object called new book and uh, from this object uh, we're just I'm just doing some checking here I'm creating a new list and I'm checking if there's already books inside the session if there are I'm adding to the books collection and then once I have the updated books collection then I'm gonna add the current book to the collection and I'm going to put that collection back inside the session okay once I have my current selection inside the session I'm going to redirect to the index view okay so now we have to update the index view here the index view it's actually going to so I'm gonna say